Are you an Ionic 5 owner that's dealing with a rattle or a squeaking coming from the tailgate area of your car? Then you're going to want to watch today's video because I've got some information about a TSB released a few months ago that kind of flew under the radar until now. So if you want to find out about the remedy for your rattling, stay tuned. So since the Ionic 5 went on sale in the United States at the end of 2021, people have been complaining about a rattling, kind of a squeaking sound coming from the tailgate of their cars. Now, I personally did experience some squeaking, not so much a rattle, but when I was going over kind of rough surfaces, this noise was pretty prevalent. So on the forums, people talked a lot about adjusting these little rubber stoppers here. They are a screw type, so you can't adjust how thick they actually are. People talked about adjusting those and seeing what that did. That kind of made it a little bit better, but it was still there. And so before knowing about this TSB, I actually found somebody who had 3D printed some shims and pulled these clamping points off from the side, put these three millimeter shims, I believe, they might be two, might be three millimeters, put them between that stopper and the body of the car. And for me, that pretty much stopped it altogether. Now, when you look at this TSB, they're actually kind of doing the reverse of what I did. So instead of putting a spacer here, they're actually putting a few washers between this piece here that is used for clamping the hatch shut and the body right here. So they're gonna do that on that side of the car as well as this side of the car. And then the funniest part of this TSB is they show some photos of the next step. And that is basically for the technician doing this work on your car to take a giant screwdriver and a giant mallet. They're gonna put it right here on this strike plate. They're gonna take the mallet and they're gonna go boom, boom a few times. And that's probably going to make it so that it closes the hatch just a little bit tighter. And that's Hyundai's fix for the trunk rattle. So if you don't wanna waste time at a dealership, this is honestly something you can do yourself. Um, I will share the 3D printing files if you are somebody who 3D prints and wanna make your own shims. But rubber washers would also work well too. You could put those between this piece and the frame. And if you got a big screwdriver and a mallet, you could go ahead and just whack that a few times and see what happens. I'm not gonna do it just because my car's rattle has more or less gone away by adding those spacers there. So it's not really a problem for me, but I know people do complain about it pretty regularly. So I'll leave a link to the TSB in the description below, and you can go ahead and download it if you're gonna bring it in and complain about the problem. Now just remember, if you go to a dealership and complain about the rattling issue, if they can't recreate it themselves, they don't necessarily have to do the work. They do have to see or hear it themselves in order to say, yeah, we'll do the work. So you might get turned away if they can't recreate it, but at least you could do it yourself. It's pretty easy if it comes down to it. Are you a new or existing owner of a Hyundai Ionic 5? Then check out my store because I got a bunch of cool new stuff to show you. So obviously you got the OG magnetic eyewear holder, but I've also got a new magnet shaped like the Ionic 5 wheel. Do you like big 40 ounce water bottles or tiny little cans? Well, I've got both. This one shrinks your cup holder while this one enlarges it. I've also got some for the rear seat. I've also got a keychain that resembles the charging indicator in the charge port. And if you don't even want to see this charge port indicator when you're charging at night, you can go ahead and cover it up with this little guy. These LEDs flash very bright at night, so you might not want people coming over and looking at them. And when you're done, thanks to these two little nubs, you can go ahead and store it right in your charge port. I design and 3D print these all myself, and every single sale goes towards the channel and helping me grow it a little bit more. So you can purchase any of these products from the links in the descriptions. If you're international, please use my Etsy store. If you're in the US, you can go to my website, ionicguy.com. You can also purchase them right here without leaving YouTube from the store on my channel page. And if you have any custom requests, shoot me a message because I'm always open to trying something new. So I appreciate you checking them out and I hope you like them.